Uh, welcome to Nuer Online YouTube channel. Uh, today we are going to focus on how to upload a YouTube video. Uh, the reason why I'm uh, doing this tutorial is because some people they do not know how to upload a video. Of course you might say that that's ridiculous or whatever but it is true. So what we're gonna do uh, we have to simply have to select this select this uh, this link right here select a files or you can simply drag drag and drop your video into this box. So what I'm going to do right here, I will simply go direct into where my videos are and then I will drag this file right there. Okay. Uh, let me bring it here. Okay. Uh, this is the file that I have. I mean, uh, some of my videos. Okay. These are my videos. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is simply drag one of these, one of these file. Let's say this one. I can simply uh, uh, take it and drop it here. Okay, I can simply drop it anywhere around here. So let me drop it there. Okay, uh, it is on the process. Well, there. Uh, you can see here uh, this, uh, it is uploading. Uh, you can see it here 40, 44, 46. Uh, so uh, this is the name that, uh, the name of uh, my files. Okay, this one. This is the name of my files uh, Far Cry 1, the mission to fight monster. Okay, so you can rename it anytime when you want to. You can rename it to uh, anything that you like. Okay, uh, here uh, what we are going to do next is by simply uh, uh, we have to configure this because there are things that you have to understand. You give it a name and then you put the description. You can put in descriptions that you want. So what I will do, I will put a description right here. So I can put anything. Uh, Far Cry 1, the mission to fight monster. So I can simply put something right here, like a Far uh, Cry 1, S something like that, okay? Because I want people to uh, to get my videos or to view my videos. So uh, it is already, uh, you can see that it is uh, on the process. It say processing 14%. So uh, the, the YouTube will first check whether your video is appropriate or not. Yeah, because it is very important you have to publish it when you know that uh, the video has no copyright in it so this is very important you have to wait for the process uh, to complete and then the next thing after putting a far I mean after putting the descriptions uh, you go direct into video elements so under video elements uh, this is what uh, the uh, the YouTube need you to do uh, you can even leave it these are options but uh, you have to understand them First thing is add uh, subtitles. Let's say you have a subtitle for your video. If your video is in English, we mean that you can upload it uh, because uh, there are other people that cannot understand you. So the YouTube will translate it to them. Uh, that way it will make it easier for them to watch. Okay, uh, then you can click add subtitle. If you have a subtitle, for me, I do not have uh, any text there that I can add other subtitles, but I can use uh, what is in there okay on the on the video so for you if you are using English and you want to help other people to understand uh, your video uh, you need to make sure that you put it under auto sign this one so uh, you click it and then you can simply put it down from there the YouTube will try to understand your language and try to uh, script your language like putting subtitle on the video when the video is playing so that is one you have to understand that so you have to select the language that which is supported by the YouTube because if you put a language which is not supported, uh, YouTube will not translate that. Okay, the other thing is add any screen. Any screen is very important. Uh, uh, we use any screen when uh, uh, someone watch your videos and then your video uh, complete. So it, you have to suggest them uh, add, add another video which they can click and watch also. So this is when this any screen will come. So let me simply click elements and then I will go direct uh, to what I want to appear there when my video is playing. There's a playlist, there's subscribe, there's channel. So I can simply suggest a video and then uh, you have to come here. We have most recent upload based for uh, views, choose a specific video. Uh, this, let's say if your channel, uh, the video which is have uh, more uh, viewers uh, will be the one can be displayed when the uh, video finish or you can simply uh, allow YouTube to select video for you okay uh, that is also option but what I want to do here is simple I will choose a specific videos so I can simply go direct into all my videos and then select one let's sim me simply select this one 
so now you can see that that's the end screen i cannot mod like four like one two three four so on the screen so now i'm done i can even resize it if i want like you you can do that uh, let me put this thing aside okay you can even do do it like this like uh resizing it making it small uh, i mean uh, uh, how how long it will take okay uh, for it to appear so i will simply put it there or i can simply leave it on the default here so when i'm done i can simply save it. okay so so this is what we have okay uh, after this uh, we ha need to put this thing called art cards art card will appear as like a link it is like a link so let me simply put art card you will see so i can even put a playlist or a channel let me put a playlist just as a playlist so i can uh, okay uh watch uh, need for speed and uh, this pubg play okay let me put this need for speed stuff you can see that here at the top right there you can see need for speed hall which is the playlist which i link up with uh, with with the video you can even see it right here so i can place it anywhere on my uh, on my youtube or can put it in the beginning depending on what you want it what, where you want it to appear so after you complete you simply save it so now we done all the three stuff uh which is art subtitles at any screen uh let me put this thing away okay okay all right here right there or i can put it there okay it said art subtitles at any screen and art card we completed this so we go we go to the next one uh, then the other one is checks. Uh, so the computer will check your video. Like it said here, copyright. It said no issue found. We mean that it has no problem with my videos. And uh, checks. Uh, we'll check your video for issue that may restrict it is visibility, and then you will have the opportunity to fix issue uh, before publishing your video. So this is when uh, your the YouTube will show you uh, whether your your video is good for uploading or for publishing or not. So you first need to make sure that you know what this is and then it say no issues you can see it from here check complete no issue found which means that my video is free from copyright now it is me uh, it is up to me now to publish it so the next move is go to visibility and then here this is where the option are uh, we have private we have unlisted we have publics private only you and people you choose can watch your videos and then unlisted anyone with the video link can watch your video let's say you put to unlisted and you send the link to somebody that somebody can watch it and if that somebody also send it also uh, this, that somebody can watch it but on the on the youtube search your that video will not appear so that is why so uh public is everyone can watch your video anyone which is uh, who's using youtube they can get your video and then uh, the last one is uh Sadas Instant Premiere, this one. Let's say I, if I publish this video right now, it can be like I'm on live video, so it can play like I, I am on live video. So you can put it to Sadas Instant Premiere or you can simply publish it. The last one is a sch scheduling. A scheduling uh, or scheduling, uh, this one, uh, we use it when you want your video uh, to be published tomorrow or next tomorrow or next month just depending on the time that you give your video to to be published so but for me i will simply publish it right now because this is what i want to do so there uh, we have and then the next move is simply publish so we can simply wait for a few seconds for it to uh, publish itself uh, this is where you can share uh, your link let's say it, uh, you can simply click this thing and then now you already copy the link for your video and then you can take it to social media and post it there and then somebody might uh, might click it and then watch your video and there boom you get uh, the, uh, the the viewers so uh, up to that point uh, let's simply click that and then we can refresh that okay uh, there's something which I forgot uh, is how to upload a thumbnail into your video within because this is the video that we have right now uh, you can simply click it on the that we have a detail analytics editor and all uh, and so on but we have to be under the detail under the detail there is this small upload thumbnail here so all you gotta do you can click or you can choose from all of these three so it depends on what you want let's say if i like this thing i can simply click it and then uh, save it let me put this thing aside i can simply uh, click save and then there i'm done 
and also for you if you want to edit your video let's say you have a copyright music on your video and you want to change the song which is there this is you can simply click edit and go look for this audio or any skin or info cut or you can make your video blur or you can even uh, trim or cut your video okay directly on YouTube so up to here guys uh, this is uh, what I want to show you today and uh, thank you for uh, uh, for coming and for watching my video uh, god bless you bye bye